Hey there, this is Brandon, and this is my uh, chart review for Monday, February 6th. Um, I am, I did some, some back testing um, back on the 9th through the 12th. I just, I was curious to see what, how well the um, 34B would work if I just took 34 bounces um, and scalped out for six ticks always. Um, and so what you see here on the, oops, that's the 10th. On the 9th, we had an amazing day for the 34B. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven winners. Um, so seven times six is 42. That would be a 42 tick day. Plus 42 ticks. On the 10th, we had one, two, three, four, five, six winners. So plus 36 minus one, two, three losers. So plus six. Because uh, I'm, I'm doing, I'm, for this, for the purposes of this back testing, I am doing uh, a 10 tick stop loss and a six tick target. Plus six. And then on the 11th, we had, again, this is just the 34B and very, very simplistic. No filtering, um, no examining the higher time frame anchor chart. Those might be great ideas and, and maybe um, that's a better way to take the 34B setup. But I'm just trying to see what is it like if I... Only trade um, the 34B, and the one filter or the one qualification is that if the 8 is over the 34, then I can only go long, and if the 8 is below the 34, I can only go short. So on, on the 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 winners. So, wow, 6 times 12 is 72. 1, 2, 3, 3 losers. So that would have been another plus 42 ticks. Now, this is obviously hindsight, but I do believe it is possible to just trade that one setup. Looks like I'm up on my current position and um, and the only sticky point that I that I've struggled with a little bit is do I want to use a market order or a limit order and um, some of these trades that I marked there was no you got the close over the eight and there was no overlap between that close and the next candle um, so sometimes it just takes off so you know, using a limit order, you you would not probably would not have been filled because it didn't tick through your limit order, and uh, and so you would you would some of these trades you would probably miss unless you used a market order. But then of course, if you use a market order, who knows uh, how much slippage you're going to get? You might get two ticks of slippage, and then I I can't um, definitively say whether or not the six tick target order would have been filled. Um, and then here we have the 12th, one, two, three, oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven winners. And so seven times six is 42 minus 20 is 22 ticks. So you can see how, uh, and, and that was all I had time for as far as bar by bar, um, 
back testing this weekend. Oops. But you can see how I, I felt pretty interested <laughs> once I saw, you know, positive results, positive results, you know, four days in a row of positive results. Just taking that one simple setup, simple rules, um, which I've said it before, I'll say it again, Mark Douglas uh, in his fantastic book, uh, <laughs> can't remember the name of it right now, um, it might be Trading in the Zone, yeah, I think it's Trading in the Zone, but in that book he, he suggests have one mechanical setup with, with an edge and just become a practitioner on that one setup. Take that setup every time it occurs and let the probabilities play out. Let the, um, the odds fall where they may. Uh, so that's what I'm pretty much trying to do with this. I'm just trying to fast forward to today's price action. Here we go. So decent volume today, and I and I was away from my screen uh, for a lot of this, but we had one, two. I better zoom in a little bit. That's a little bit unclear. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, um, nine winners, and one, and possibly a tenth winner here. Um, one. Two, am I seeing just two losses? No, there's more than that. Wait, one, two, one, two, three. So nine wins, nine times six is 54. Um, minus 30 for the three losses. That's 24. So that's positive 24 ticks at this point in this day. And um, I think there was one where I tried to get it, but I didn't get filled. Um, and there was certainly at least one or two where there was no overlap between the, the, the entry candle and the, the next several candles. Um, so, so yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. Um, we had the new moderator today, and uh, he called the trade here. I, I, I wasn't at my screen when he called that trade, but I, I believe it was a T25 setup, and he ended up closing it, I think, in here. Yeah, he got short at 51 and then and he, he got a plus five I think he got stopped out here at like 46 um, so that was a winning trade and then I was away from my screen almost the rest of this entire time and um, according to a friend of mine who was also in the live room he called two more trades one of them was a minus six and one of them was a um, minus one so but I, I didn't see it um, by the time I got back to my screen here um, the the room was already closed so all right you know so that's uh, that's pretty much it short and sweet um, I'm going to continue with the 34 B um, there was one trade where I took it I took this loser right here and this was one of those situations where at that point in the day it, you, I mean, you definitely get a 34 bounce here it's an 89 bounce also might help if I zoom in a little bit more but what I also wanted to show was 
was the fact that we had a pretty decent downtrend going. And if you draw a line from here to here, and then you make a copy of that line and drag it up here to this high, you see it's, it's almost a perfect touch. And so that was probably a, um, a 34B, well, it was a 34B that I should have skipped. How would I have known to skip that 34B as opposed to all the other 34Bs? Well, it's just, uh, it's just maybe an, an enhancement of the probabilities where if you draw some trend lines, perhaps, or if you look at something on the anchor chart or whatever, you, whatever seasoning you add to the recipe, um, you know, the, you, instead of just blindly taking every single 34B with the 834 relationship rule, um, you know, maybe you filter out a few setups and you take, you, you increase your expectancy just a little bit. And so I, I, I'm also a believer in trend lines, and, uh, and that's a pretty good example of that. It's not the same as this trend. So if I take this over here and, and I do that trend line, there's still quite a bit of space there to that. But this is the more recent price action. And, and so that might be a way of filtering some of your 34Bs. Because this is a downtrend, and really I was, um, I was buying close to the highs uh, of that particular channel. So we don't, we, in general, we don't want to buy the highs and sell the lows, right? Um, so... Anyway, that's, I just wanted to mention that, and now this trade is going against me. But, um, you know, you, you have to just stick to, you know, I believe you have to stick to your guns, stick to your pro profit target, stick to your stop, and just let it play out, see what's going to happen. I mean, this is looking decent. It's, it's going against me a little bit, but it made a, a high and a higher high and a higher high. It made a low and a higher low and a higher low and a higher low. And so chances are decent here that we make another higher low. Um, and I get my little six ticks. So that's about it for today. I hope you enjoyed the quicker video than my usual. And uh, thank you for watching.